Hi, this is Andrea. Taba Reverb Nation, same, same band and the same voice, one hopes. And I'm going to give you an introduction on Andhra the Pura the way I saw it. Um, I'm not of the opinion that if you've seen one stupa, you've seen them all. I had the same attitude about uh, the fjords in Norway, and then I found that in one of them that I visited, I had birds flying and taking food out of my hand, and that proved to be certainly different from the others that I had visited, where I saw waterfalls gushing down the slopes of rock. Now, uh, Anuradhapura is a land that is totally different from the rest of the parts of Sri Lanka. We have got a diverse uh, landscape, but Anuradhapura is all flatlands, brush, green, f uh, flat fells, and rocks and old monuments, edifi edifices, um, uh, shrines that sort of like soar towards the sky, unlike the trees in Kandy or the mist rolling in, or maybe the plains of tea that are looking that look like carpeted uh, hills with the tea bushes. So, Anuradhapura has, has got something to offer you which you will not find in other places. It's tranquil, it's peaceful, it's calm. Uh, it has this breeze that walks across the reservoirs 24 hours a day, but the heat is stifling and you must uh, bring along your light clothing and very good footwear because you'll be asked to take your shoes off in places like the temples and the places of worship. Anuradhapuri is strictly a religious place, part of the cultural triangle and it's located about 205 kilometers north of uh, Colombo. Now I'm not going to repeat what's in the little panels for you to look at while the movie is going on but some of them sort of flick by. Now. Uh, I'm going to take you to some off the beaten track places in Anuradhapura because of the fact that that's what I wanted to see. It was a grueling ride in a bus because I missed the train that leaves the station at 6.45. So I had to catch the bus and the train was the intercity, it only gets you there in 5 hours. So I ultimately ended up going on the bus. I was very fortunate that day because people were clean. and. Uh, I was blessed for the entirety of the seven hour journey by having passengers who didn't smell too bad. I mean it is normal, we are a third world country, a lot of our people don't know about hygiene but they are getting by and they are improving by the day. But you must expect that because the fact that there are people also sometimes who are not city folk and who have been brought up in the village areas where they are used to washing in rivers and streams. And I always tell people there is a third world mentality here. So if you do not want to be uh, picked up by uh, people as foreign, you have to be discreet in your clothing. Generally wear in Anuradhapura particularly uh, long trousers, uh, no legs exposed, no short sleeves where your arms are exposed either. The more revealing you are, the more interested would be the populace who are mainly village people and they haven't seen things like this. And um, you may realize that we also, 75% of our people are poor, which means that they would try to uh, uh, get a little benefit from you, but that's not going to be a Now, I have, uh, I was taken on a 3,005 rupee tuk-tuk ride, which is a three-wheeler, by a guy who seemed to know the areas, but I found that he was rather sort of stilted in his uh, knowledge of the place even though he's uh, incumbent of the area but he told me about some interesting news like you wouldn't know that there are places where uh, if you make a wish your dreams will come true and those are all folkloric and associated with the annals of Anuradhapura history um, um, now what he also told me was that uh, because it's a primarily a place of worship uh, you'd find a lot of Buddhist monks and white clothed uh, devotees floating around the area. The day on which I went, it was a Vesak Poson day, which is sort of like a full moon holiday. Uh, killer for the teachers because there are no students who come during the holiday season. It's about four days, five days in Sri Lanka where absolutely nothing is done but eat and drink and be merry and of course say your prayers in the evening. Now, the shots that I have taken are from a bus. 
and I was seated in the corner of a bus and I was quite happy with what I saw. Mainly because it was a possum Vesak holiday, there were people being carted to and fro from places of worship to their homes in any conceivable vehicle. Now, that could be anything from even sometimes just the back of a truck or in somebody else's uh, uh, lorry. Now, I'll have to stop this now business. In this pic you see uh, the statues of the Buddha. Three, one of them is supposed to be standing position, one of them is in seated position and one of them in reclining position which you will also see when you go to Anuradhapura. And the postures of the hands are very significant because uh, the one with the palm outwards is supposed to be warding off the dangers of the devils and evil things and I think MB uses it in its selling strategy. I wouldn't know whether they do that in other parts of the world but anyway hands are very expressive and very uh, evocative. Now you will notice that there are different scenes as we go along little huts selling vegetables which are in plentiful supply in Sri Lanka. Then there is uh, pineapples, there are pineapples below bananas whenever you want them and on this particular day there were dancers that means places for free food because it was a grand holiday of five days I didn't partake but I was quite envious of the manioka which is the white yam that was sold with coconut and uh, a sambal free of charge plus drinks en route the bus driver was too much of a hurry to get to uh, a proper because it already takes seven hours so I guess I didn't want to dwell a bit further on it. You will notice that the, uh, it's very flat terrain here in Anuradhapura, paddy fields that are normally irrigated by the eight reservoirs. Don't ask me about the reservoirs because the fact that that seems to be a, a myth that has died with the kings. One does not know how he has managed to build dams of earth and surround them with rock and there is absolutely no water seepage on the lower levels there's discrete channeling of water into the paddy field so that they're irrigated because Anuradhapura and the cultural triangle are quite dry for several months in the year. The monkeys can be a real curse in all places of worship because they eat anything that is given or that is left on the tables for the Buddha from flowers to fruit to food and they even drink the oil that is used to light the lamps at night. So you find the harsh sort of harsh silence because it is sometimes literally a place where you can hear a pin drop You find the devotees chasing off the monkeys and that's about the only sound that takes the place of the silence otherwise in this land. Have fun when you're in this country because the fact that basically you do what the people do and they have fun. They are generally a very relaxed race. Or race uh, I mean, you might find a couple of times when they sort of get together and have a protest outside the Ministry of Education or another ministry because their salaries are so low. You see pictures of me in my relaxed moments because I had a really grueling day, seven hours on the train and then five hours back to Colombo in a very shaky train, but the coaches are new and I must tell you that the toilets are clean, which is a real blessing. Now, one of the places that I went to was the Kittupokuna, which is sort of like a, a place of worship, but it's got some beautiful chalets, just two of them, the priest is trying to get more. And then I also went to a place called the Old Stone Bridge, with this guy called Kumara Vale, who is in charge of uh, the whole area there. The priests are given a tract of land to take care 
off and maintain and in one of those places I came across this little delightful deer called Mira who came up to me and actually he gave me a kiss and that stupid photographer of mine or the cameraman who was my also my driver he didn't take a picture of it but anyway you find all these animals including the large squirrel and there are supposed to be 250 varieties of birds in Sri Lanka of which 80 of them are located in Anuradhapura. We'll hear that in the conversation that I had with a Buddhist priest. I went to the lesser known part, so uh, I was able to talk to them. Now, young Kumar Avail, who accompanied me to the stone bridge, was paralyzed uh, four years ago and he has recovered totally with the help of prayer and the uh, kindness of the monk that he serves now as his caretaker from general factotum. That's Kumar Avelo, the one, the picture sandwich between the two priests. Now, Anuradhapura is made of uh, a whole heap of canals and waterways and sluices and uh, natural uh, water levelers. There are no gates or no uh, wheels to turn them. The water just spills over naturally and proceeds on its way. The road that I'm standing on is the old road rock, uh, rock bridge and that is supposed to have headed at one time towards Trincomalee but the people have now taken over the land and have probably hidden the remains of the road because they are worried about the government making it a national treasure and depriving them of their home. That happens sometimes. The kings are the one who made Anuradhapura and they made it for monks as a place of rest and relaxation, worship and of cure and good health. You will find that there's a very strong Hindu influence here with elephant gods and uh, signs of the astrology carved and painted on ceilings, fresco, kind, fresco kinds of uh, wall paints and murals. The seven or the twelve elements of the zodiac, the seven days, they are all depicted on the ceilings and walls. A lot of colour and the artwork is brilliant, very detailed. Mainly it features the life of the Buddha and I mean population of the Sri Lanka is a good mix of all the cultures and religions so you get all the four main religions here plus of course the atheists and the Baptists and the Church of the Latter-day Saints and what it is. So a great idea from a new cottage. The Buddhist priests are called venerable theros. So if you have an opportunity of interesting any of them and they speak quite well in English, not totally fluent, but they're able to express themselves. The video clip gives you an idea of what it's like. come to the black water pond. Pokuna is called pond in the singular language and the reason why it's called the black water pond is because the water looks black but however when I stepped into the waters and I did uh, have a sip a bit, a bit verily of course or warily I was worried I was worried about whether I might get sick. No the water was perfectly clear and the black water is caused by the reflection of the surrounding mountains and uh, and shadows that fall on the water. It's a beautiful place. The silence is beautiful. And then I walked into this place where there was this um, throne room of old uh, buildings which gave me great hopes with my watch cottage in Candy. Because these have survived the test of time, but the material is different, of course. But all you could hear was the sound of the crickets. And it's beautiful. I mean, sometimes you know, words do not portray what really one feels in one's heart. It's like love, you know. Sort of, uh, sometimes you, there's a silence of awe 
and a feeling of uh, gratitude that uh, places such as this can exist without the pollution of man. Now, coming into the, we went through a train ride. I've showed you that too, and also the fact that there's a clock with two letters on it. This is what I had with the Buddhist priest. Yes. Saturn is place also. Then this is the entrance of uh, south entrance of Anugan city. Right. Then the special thing is the very special inscription uh, on the top. There is a rock. There is a very special inscription. That, that inscription is uh, Hmm. Hmm? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. uh, king fifth sixth era. Yeah. Ah. Fifth era. Right. Uh, the king uh, first Agbo. Right. Agbo's time. Figrapia Silanika. Inscription. It's on the rock. Yes. Yeah. You can see that. Inscription. Right. Uh, chapter 5. Right. Chapter 5, there is inscription. Uda Rat Male Vihera Band Gala Parvata Lipi. Parvata in rock. Right. Yeah. Rock in Writing inscriptions. Right. Okay. Then uh, that is the written uh, history. Yes. Then anyhow the small small stone yes top of the stone there are small holes right all mean that the wooden statue st statue not yes. statue wooden pillar uh, you know the support support right yeah. support yeah. yes then on that support there yeah, there must have been yeah, something else two. Yes, right. Small, small, potty. Right, right, potty. We have a monk. Right. Then one uh, rock. Yes. The rock is ancient. Yes. Uh, under that rock, the enlightenment monk, we have a... Right. Yeah. Then you can see that rock. Mm. Yes. Cave, like a cave. Mm. Then other thing is that they are by the side of temple, inside the temple. Putting this on YouTube. Yeah. And yeah. putting this on YouTube with the pictures and all that. So I'll be putting you too. Yeah. I will give you the link, uh, Reverend. I will give you my link. Yeah. I'm ba basically, no, I'm an English teacher. Teach. But I write for, I write for yeah. the journals and magazines. And that uh, uh, national geography. Just for fun. <coughs> not, they for, also came. not for cash. I don't get any money out of this, yeah, Reverend. No. National oh. geography. They came. And Geo, yes, Geo, ah, Geo, yes, they yes. also came. Oh, very good. To have city here. No. I don't like to have shops, boutiques. Very good. Yeah. Keep and it a religious don't, place. Don't, I don't no need more people. True. Yeah. No. And I don't have that uh, big uh, visitor space. I know. No, no. I think there's enough of those places here as it is. No, it's nice. I think your idea is very good, Reverend. You can see mm. my land. There, there are many places. We didn't do anything to the floor. Yes. The ground. Ground, yes. yes. After 800 years, mm. we, didn't, we, we didn't use mamati. Ah, yes. <laughs> To break yeah. the rock, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real land. Yes. Yeah. Real uh -huh. land means 
ini tu original yeah, if it it's in original Mary, more praise.